Hey everybody, welcome back to the Volvo Project Update. <laughs> oh, where to begin? Um, so, from 8 o'clock in the morning to now almost 2 in the afternoon, I've been at a garage getting this thing serviced. I was only able to get the front rotors and calibers done. The rear, I guess, are still good, so it actually stops fine now. But there's still a little bit of a little bit of bounce in the brakes, but not bad. That's the good news. The brakes are good. Uh, they changed out the plug and the coil pack on cylinder four misfire. However, it kept popping up again. That's because the fuel injectors are filthy as fuck. This goes further. So I dumped some sea foam in it. We're gonna drive it for a while and see how that rolls. Uh, the other bit of good news is uh, everything else seems to pass okay. Now here comes the most fucked up part of the whole situation. I go to Mobile One, I always have them do my oil change, they're really good at it. And they clean out the car, they vacuum everything out, they make things nice. You know, they go that little extra mile and I appreciate that. I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not fucking plugging their business. You know, do it yourself or go to anybody you want, I don't care. Even with a torque wrench, air wrench, you know, one of those fucking deals, could not open the plastic cap that houses the little paper oil filter that sits inside it so I could not get an oil change done which this thing desperately fucking needs so now I gotta make an appointment with the dealership at Volvo and have them swap that out as well as do the goddamn hood latch which is also broken so Right now, um, this car has really annoyed the shit out of me. It's got me super fucking annoyed. It's got me super irritated. I've already spent almost $2,000 just on half the repairs that this thing needs. And I'm not even there yet. I'm not even done yet. There's still more that needs to be done with this car to make it, like, okay. At this rate, man, I, I don't know. Uh, th this car is getting to be annoying. Uh, the tech at the Volvo dealership said, well, there's a good, it's good and bad with this car is the engines are usually really dependable, reliable. They'll run a long time, many, many miles. He was like at 201,000 miles, 1,000 bucks for the car. He said, you got a pretty good deal, honestly. He said, you got a good deal. It's a good car. It's just their maintenance heavy. So, as with most European spec automobiles, they are very maintenance heavy, like your BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, and such, are very uh, maintenance heavy. So, this car, being as such, is quite maintenance heavy, as I'm experiencing right now. So, the clock is ticking, though, as well as my uh, account is ticking down for the time to get the inspection done. I can get another 10 day if I have to, but that's going to start getting um, pricey and it's not a good look going into the DMV and be like, hey, I need another 10 day. I can't get the inspection done yet. This and that and this and that. So that's where we're sitting as of right now at the end of the month with this Volvo and my taxes are almost all but spent. I'm kind of up against the wall here and there's not much I can do. So just to get the hood latch done, which I'm not really too concerned about that because the guy showed me a trick to pop the hood open. It just requires a flathead screwdriver, which I got that, no problem. So I can at least pop the hood. The hood latch isn't important, but this will give you an idea of how expensive shit is on this car. Um, two, what do you say, 240, 250 bucks for two hood latches. That's the hood latches. And it's probably also him putting it on, so... That's where we're sitting as far as the Volvo project goes update. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.